Hey everybody, it's Don again from North of Detroit Outdoors. Thanks for joining me. Well, last season, about midway through the season, I decided to take a trip up north with some friends to do some hunting. And it occurred to me that the method by which I transport deer from one place to another was this old yellow sled that I've had for probably seven or eight years or so. Uh, it's a sled that I found on the side of the road one day when I was driving to work. And on the second day of seeing it, I decided to stop and pick it up and throw it in my car. And I went about the rest of my day. And that sled has served me very well. It's transported quite a few deer from one place to another, but it's starting to show its age. And on the bottom of the, uh, the sled, it now has a few wear holes in it that create some edges that create a lot of friction when I, when I drag it. And because uh, where I was going up north, it's a huge expanse of land, of public land. And I knew that the prospect of me having to travel a long way from where I hunt to where I park my vehicle was entirely possible. And I, I realized at that point that it was probably time for me to upgrade from that old yellow sled to something that's going to work a lot better in transporting deer. So if you want to know what I chose and why, stick with me right here on North of Detroit Outdoors. Well, it's a good day when you can bring the yellow sled out. Okay, when it came time for me to make a decision about the type of deer cart that I wanted, I had three main criteria. And the first criteria is I wanted it to be durable and rugged. Now, over the years when I've been hunting with, friend, with, with friends, uh, there have been times where we've had a deer cart that had to transport two deer. And uh, there have been certain times when I've seen deer carts that just buckle under the weight of two deer. They just don't hold up very well. And it's just, uh, it was just a pain trying to drag that particular cart uh, through rough terrain when the wheels were buckling and wobbling. So I wanted to make sure that that didn't happen to me. I wanted a cart that was going to be able to handle two deer very easily. And I also wanted a deer cart that was going to be able to make it through the rough terrain. Naturally, when you're going through the woods and you're trying to recover a deer, you don't know where it's going to go. And you may encounter some really sketchy places where you have to get through muck, perhaps water, perhaps large logs are in the way. And I wanted something that was going to be able to handle all that as easily as possible. So that was criteria number one. So the second criteria is that I needed my deer cart to be easily collapsible. Because typically when I'm going hunting long distances, maybe up north or so, I have a lot of gear to take with me. And I can't have a deer cart that just takes up too much room. But at the same time, I need it to be big enough to carry two deer. So it has to be able to collapse down into a reasonable size so that I can fit it in the bed of my truck with all the rest of my gear. So that's criteria number two. And then criteria number three is that I wanted it to cost less than $200. Now there are deer carts out there that cost $79, $89, but those are the ones that I talked about previously that just buckle under the weight of two deer. So I knew I needed something robust and I was willing to pay for it. So $200 was my limit. So with those three criteria in mind, I chose and purchased the Hawk Crawler multi-use cart. Let's go put this thing together. So one of the first things I noticed about this cart is that it seemed to be really rugged, really durable. And this is something that naturally I wanted for criteria number one. It looks like this is going to last a long time because all of the components that were used in assembling this cart, they seem to be very robust. The nuts and the bolts, the wheels, the tires, the frame, even the netting uh, seems to be of really, really high quality. And again, for something that's um, said to handle 500 pounds, you'd expect that. So I think this is going to be able to handle anything that I dish out. And when it comes to criteria number two being collapsible, I think this, this cart does a really good job of folding up into a, a size that's going to be manageable for me to be able to get it into the bed of my truck with all my other gear. And it's pretty easy to do. You take the handle and you can flip it over after you've released two knobs. And then the bottom portion, it flips over very easily too. It has a small compact profile, and I think this is something that's gonna meet criteria number two very easily. Now when I was investigating the type of deer cart that I wanted, I looked at many different types. And at one point in time, this particular cart, I found it on Amazon for $159, but I delayed because I was still investigating other types. And when I finally wanted to pull the trigger, that discount was gone, 
and it was $199, and that's what I had to pay for it. But it still met my criteria number three, and all in all, I'm pretty happy with the cost. So one of the special things about the Hawk Crawler is that it has four wheels instead of the typical two that you see on most other deer carts. And even more special is that on either side of the cart, the two wheels on one side are attached by a, a, a long bracket with a center hub allowing them to rotate 360 degrees independently of the other side. Now what this does is two things. The first is when you rotate those wheels up one on top of the other vertically, um, if you're like me, I store mine in the garage and I store it up against a wall and because those wheels are vertical it's a big space saver. So it allows me to have, uh, have it in the garage without taking up a ton of space. But more importantly than that, the rotating wheels allow you to overcome obstacles when you're in the field. So I went and tested this feature out in the woods behind my backyard. So I found a down tree and I tried to pull the cart over it and exactly as advertised the wheels pivoted, they rotated and they got me over really really easily. So one of the nice things about the deer cart is that it folds up nice and easily which makes it uh, easy to stow. Uh, the problem is, if you're trying to load a deer on here, uh, this really just kind of folds up a little bit too easy and there's really nothing to hold it open. So I can imagine, as you're struggling to get a deer on here, this folds up, you have to start over, and uh, that might happen over and over again. It looks like they've anticipated that problem uh, because they have a hole that goes through this bracket and another hole that lines up with it that goes through the frame. So when you put the two together, you can put a pin through both of them to keep this open. Now I happen to have one of these, these pins with a little spring clamp on it that I uh, pulled off of my old tree stand. And I think this is gonna work great. It fits perfectly. The problem, however, is it doesn't wanna line up on its own. So you're gonna have to put a little pressure on it, or at least on this one, it, it might be necessary. So kind of stand on one side, push it into place, and then I can clamp it like this, and that way it keeps it from folding up, and it's gonna be much easier to load a deer. So I'll just make sure I keep one of these with me at all times when I'm using the cart. Uh, I do have two, and I could put one on either side, but it doesn't look like two is necessary. So as long as I have one, uh, I, won't, I won't have that problem. So another thing I like about this cart is that although it was designed primarily and purchased by me to haul deer, it's designed such that it can carry a lot more. You know, when I have things that I'm moving around the house, maybe some wood, maybe some, uh, some bags of fertilizer or something like that, I can put them in this cart and move them around really easily. And, uh, you know, many of the other deer carts, they have these slats of metal that go across the frame and uh, they have large spaces in between where things can fall through. And they can be useful as well, but this one looks like it's going to be extra useful because the netting that's in this can hold big things and small things. So uh, I think that's just an added benefit of purchasing this particular cart. So that's my review of the Hawk Crawler Deer Cart. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, fortunately for me, I was able to take this cart up north on my hunting trip last year and put it through its paces a bit. Now, the question is, did it perform as anticipated? Well, if you want to find out, you'll have to see me in the next video. But I do appreciate you joining me here on this video, and I look forward to seeing you again soon on North of Detroit Outdoors.